Wow, this feels so weird. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my, wow, that like class was really uncomfortable. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is so weird to be filming since I haven't filmed in who knows how long at this point. I really just didn't keep track. I said I was gonna film and then I didn't, and then I said I was gonna film and then I didn't and life has just been so crazy. But with everything going on in the world, um, me and Nico's lives have kind of slowed down a bit um, in a good way. I think sometimes that we just go, go, go all the time. So um, staying at home has definitely set a different pace for us. So I thought that I'd start filming again just to kind of get my creative juices flowing. And I'm really excited. So we're just gonna do a little get ready with me, catch up with me. Um, some of my favorite products. My makeup has I'm not really changed but kind of changed over the years So I thought I'd share just some updated products. I love and things like that So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this Okay, so I'm in a really weird filming area because if you guys didn't know already, I got married. The video is on my channel, so if you guys wanna go check it out, you can. Um, but I got married last August, and it is now May. So we are almost to our one year anniversary, which is absolutely crazy. Anyways, this is our place. We live in like a studio apartment, so everything is kind of in the same room. We are hopefully moving this summer to a larger apartment. So I'm really excited for that, to have a little bit of extra space. Um, and so I'm kind of filming this in our living room, bedroom, as you can see our bed, um, because our bathroom just really doesn't have good lighting and I didn't know where to set up the camera. So we're just gonna do this today. So I already have all of my skincare done on my face. I have my face moisturizer, um, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead with the L'Oreal um, Lumi Glotion. So one of my favorite YouTubers, she uses this, um, Keaton Milburn. Um, she uses this on her face all the time and it honestly just makes your base um, so much more glowy um, and easier to achieve that glowy look with this product. So, okay, my hair is in my face. Let me just put it back, back for a second. I feel like I look like a 90s mom with this hairstyle, but okay, it is what it is. Um, I've also been working from home, which has definitely been a huge transition. Obviously not something we were expecting, none of this we were kind of expecting, so um, it's definitely been a transition. It's been really nice with lots of positives as well as a few negatives, um, but each day I really haven't been wearing makeup much during the week, um, and then on the weekends I do like to get myself ready just to kind of get a little bit of that normalcy again. Um, so today is a weekend day, so I might as well go all out and go with this some foundation and I've been using this foundation um, it's the same one by Sunagents it's the make sense foundation um, for a few I want to say years now but I can't remember when I started using this um, it's just one of my favorite formulas because it is so lightweight um, it just it doesn't even feel like anything is on your face which is exactly what I want it to feel like because I hate, especially during the summertime, um, when you can like feel your foundation and feel it getting oily and gross. And this never feels like that for me. And I have oily skin, so that's definitely saying something. Um, I don't think it's as full coverage maybe as other foundations. Um, also this weird white thing right here, that's my mirror, <laughs> that's where I'll be looking. Um, but it definitely gets the job done. I actually wore this foundation on my wedding day and Obviously, I wore like more than what I'm putting on my face right now uh, Just for like pictures and stuff, but it stayed on Like so well, I did my own makeup on my wedding day and man did it turn out well <laughs> And that was kind of the first time like I did a trial run, but I would just you know, in the moment, you just kind of feel like what you want to look like, and that's kind of just what I did. And it turned out really well. It stayed on all day long. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I did that makeup, I definitely can show you. It was super fun, and 
I would say it was pretty easy. There was nothing like crazy, like a cut crease or anything like, <laughs> so I definitely think it's achievable by majority of people. Um, but I could definitely make that video if that was something you guys were interested in. So my, excuse my eyebrows because obviously my threading place hasn't been open and <laughs> we're gonna start a unibrow soon, so. My next step, concealer. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer has been, again, one of my favorites. This really hasn't changed um, along with my foundation just because I feel like when I find a good foundation or concealer, it's really hard to move away from it and try something new because I love it so much. Um, now this stuff a little bit goes a very long way. So I just do a dot there, a line there, a line around my nose, on my lip, on my nose, and up here. And that is it. Okay, so I did ask you guys on my Instagram um, to, my brush isn't going in, so we're just gonna put it over here. <laughs> I asked you guys to um, ask me some questions just to kind of catch up. I feel like I love watching these videos right now on YouTube just because it feels like a conversation or just uh, getting to know someone better or just having like a phone call with someone because since we can't really see a ton of people in person, it's nice to have these kind of videos to catch up and see what other people are doing in their lives and um, all things like that. So um, someone asked me, how is married life? And it is so much fun. Me and Nico truly are best friends. <laughs> like I can't, I, all the things I expected marriage to be, it definitely has been. Like nothing has been disappointing to me in any sort of way. Um, it's just been so fun to get to know each other on just such a deeper level. Like I feel like we've been married for 50 years and it's not even a year yet. <laughs> um, like I'm sure all of like the married couples watching this, like you can relate so much that your relationship, once you dive into that and like that commitment, it truly just changes everything. Like all of a sudden you're making all of these life decisions together and it's so fun and it can be really stressful at the same time. Um, but through it all, I absolutely love it. You know, you always have someone to do something with. Um, you guys can travel together. Um, living together has even been fun. I mean, it's definitely interesting living with a guy because I've never done that before. So it's been fun, but honestly, he's just truly amazing and treats me just so well. I just couldn't even imagine my life without him. Um, so honestly, married life has been great. You guys should do it sometime. <clears throat> so I was filming on my phone and it stopped recording and I didn't even know. So we're just gonna like rewind a little bit. I already did, I pretty much finished my face, which is kind of irritating, but um, I went in with my loose powder airspun. Again, I've been using this one for so long that I'm sure that you guys have seen me apply it. Just goes under the eyes and then line the jaw. Again, I have really oily skin, so this just makes sure my concealer and foundation stays on all day long. And then I went in with my new favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer. Um, my cousin Cassie and Brenna, I believe, both of them use it. Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, but I think both of them use this um, bronzer and it always looks so good on their skin and just so smooth. And it's the Butter Bronzer um, from Physicians Formula. So it's just super creamy, smells like the beach. Oh my gosh, it literally smells so good. And I just applied that right here on my face, <laughs> just between my jaw and I don't even know where you would put your highlight, um, right here. And then again, just doing the number three um, down. So I did that on obviously both sides of my face and then I used a little bit of the bronzer as eyeshadow and here we are so uh, the questions that i answered that weren't even recording filming anything like that i'll share those now <laughs> um so my favorite starbucks at the moment now i have been treating myself to starbucks a little too often but i absolutely love it and 
it's just so delicious. Sometimes I just need it in my day. Um, but my favorite Starbucks at the moment is, so it's in a venti cup with ice. It's four shots of espresso. I know that sounds like a ton of caffeine, but if you were a Starbucks barista or if like you know a lot about coffee, doesn't cold brew have more caffeine than espresso? Please let me know down below. Anyways, um, but I really just do need the caffeine. Um, so I do the four shots of espresso, I do a splash of heavy cream, and then I'll do four pumps of white mocha, and it is so good. But it is a really long order, so I tend to just order it on the app because I feel really weird if I'm going through drive through saying that to them because it's just such a long order and I just feel weird. The next question is, what is your favorite thing to do while you've been staying at home to stay busy or things like that? So one thing I've been really loving to do while I've been at home is since I am working from home, um, it's been really hard to separate work from just like home life <laughs> because it, literally I take five steps and like I'm on the couch. So everything is in one area. Um, but right after work every day, I like to go on a walk just around our neighborhood just to get some fresh air. I normally listen to a podcast just to kind of clear my mind from the day all things like that. Work has been very stressful because I do work in the travel industry and right now you can't really travel. So <laughs> it's not, it has not been very fun. Um, but again, I'm not complaining. I am super happy to still be able to work. I know so many people have lost their jobs and um, it honestly is just heartbreaking through this time. It's just so unknown, which I think is the most stressful part is we don't know when it's going to end and when things are going to get back to normal or what that even looks like. So um, I'll be praying for you guys. Again, I know some people personally that have lost jobs, but um, for you guys out there, just know that you are not alone through this and God is helping us through this. <laughs> He's really the only stable thing here and um, just kind of clinging to him more through this time. But anyway, so that's one thing I like to do. I like to go on walks. I'm not much of a runner. Who knows if that'll change at the end of this, but we'll see. Okay, moving on to our next step in makeup. Um, I'm gonna be using the Voluminous Primer by L'Oreal. Um, it goes along with the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is my favorite, favorite mascara combo. Um, this is basically just like a white mascara and it just makes your lashes um, like thicker and longer before you apply the actual mascara. Next question is, what is your favorite movie at the moment? And me and Nico decided to start watching all of the Marvel movies in order of like chronological order and it has been so great. <laughs> I understand the movies so much more now. Like I've always loved Marvel. Iron Man is my absolute favorite, but watching them in this order definitely makes it way more, I don't know, way more fun, but also you understand everything that's going on. Um, let me go. I actually bought a new mascara and I'm so excited because I finally get to use it today. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab that. It's got my new mascara. Again, this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Um, Again, someone asked me what are some of my favorite makeup products. The ones I'm using today, I definitely use on a daily basis if I were to put on makeup every day. Um, they're just kind of, they're easy products, but they also just, I always travel with those ones and it just seems to always create like a nice look for me. Um, so I did do my own makeup, like I said, on my wedding day. So if you guys want me to do like an in-depth video of favorite makeup products for like for specifically your big day just because I feel like that day you do need to wear a little bit extra um just because it will come off a little bit but also pictures take off your makeup so it's better to wear a little bit more than not enough um just to kind of balance everything out Last question I got was something you're into right now. Um, so hmm. I've picked up a lot of new interests <laughs> during this stay at home time, just because I have the time to do it. Um, I've definitely really been into skincare. It's something I enjoy doing every morning and enjoy doing every night. I think just taking that extra few minutes to do so is really important and obviously is really good for your skin. Something else I've really been into is just like doodling or drawing. Um, 
what else have I been into? Mainly just skincare. I try to take the time to do that, but I just had something else I was thinking about. Anyways, so <laughs> I feel like one of my next videos will be um, maybe like a skincare routine or haul or something like that. Um, I think that'll be interesting. I absolutely love seeing other people's skincare routines. Um, so I think that would be fun to film. Oh, 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 yes. My, um, my Bible studies that I've been doing now that I don't really get ready for work. I just kind of put on a comfy outfit and sit in my chair. I like to wake up a little bit earlier to do a Bible study before work actually starts. And I've been loving, if you guys know, um, I believe it's the Grace Co. Um, I'll leave their link down below just to their website, but they constantly do sales on all of their Bible studies and they're actually pretty inexpensive. And I really just love the layout and most of them have like questions that you can actually write in the journal um, on really every topic. So it's been really nice to have that just to set the routine, set the mood for the day, um, and just obviously learn more about God. <laughs> so I do three coats of mascara. I'm sure you guys already knew that. I'm just crazy like that. You know me. Please leave me some more ideas down below as far as um, what you guys are wanting to see, whether it be um, more just get ready with me's, vlogs, uh, skincare routines, um, what other activities would be fun to do while you're staying at home. Just leave me a comment down below of what you guys want to see. Um, and then hopefully when everything gets lifted and we can actually start traveling and doing fun things, um, I can start posting vlogs more often. Um, or just start posting vlogs because I haven't posted a vlog in who knows. <laughs> How long? Okay, so I just had another problem with my camera and it died. So I went ahead and did my third layer of mascara on my eyelashes. I'm so sorry about my nails. I forgot to do them before this video. Um, but I went ahead and finished that. So I am all done. This is basically just my everyday, super easy, simple makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I had so much fun answering your guys' questions and just catching up with you. I know it's been so long. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and just continue to stay positive through this time. Um, but again, remember to leave your comments down below of new videos you'd like to see. Bye guys.